All right, this is the easiest round trip Final Cut DaVinci tutorial you'll ever watch. Here's the three shots that I have in my timeline. Say we had a massive, awesome um, edit in here. I'm going to File, Export, XML. Yep, version 5. Send it to the desktop and call it tutorial. I didn't even spell that right. No one cares. Tutorial. Drop that in the desktop. Okay, let's go to DaVinci. Um, when you open DaVinci, it's going to look like that. Um, what I needed to do first was to have the desktop as a destination on the preference tab, and now that DaVinci can see the desktop, I go to uh, conform and uh, what we need to do is load that XML so let's go desktop there it is so we're going to open that as a timeline hit OK and awesome if we look down here there's the three clips that we had in our edit and so let's go to the color tab and now these are these three squares um, shot one, shot two, shot three etc. Okay. Um, I already did some uh, basic color correction here. Um, this, you know, this is kind of intimidating when you see people's node trees, but just know that this affects that, affects that, affects that, affects that. This is a parallel node. You can make one of these by hitting Shift P and uh, really try to use Shift P to make these parallel nodes for your selections and stuff. You don't want to have your selections you know, in your serial graph because they get kind of bogged down and the selections aren't very good over here. So try to try to make your selections, like if you want to make a sky bluer, if I want to, um, you know, knock down the uh, truck a little bit um, by doing that, you know, I can desaturate that car, you know, stuff like that. Um, anyways, no one cares. Let's just go to render. Um, so we go session render. Let's choose a destination for that render. Desktop, projects. Uh, oh yeah, let's just put it in there. New folder, and we'll call it render. Okay, so now in our in our folder that we started out with, um, we have render. Hit OK. And hit render. It's going on the GPU. It's super mega fast. It's like 18 frames a second. OK. I think it's done. We hit close. Now we got to go back to this conform tab and say export. And uh, yeah, let's just put it there, sequence one, and it adds this resolve, just like color. But yeah, you don't want to use color anymore because it sucks compared to DaVinci. Hit save, and I worked on color for like four years. Hide. Let's go back here, and then just say file, import, XML. Down here. Um, yep, there it is. It's on the desktop. Hit OK. Now if I double click resolve, um, yeah, there it is. All that stuff, but it's relinked to the uh, to the stuff. Um, it comes in from resolve without audio, so just go to this um, section, unlink your, your audio, copy it, and then just paste the audio. So yeah, there you go.